ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's so good. So, today is a very special day. Deer season is right around the freaking corner, okay? We gotta go figure out what bucks are at the deer club. Is Handle still alive? Is there any new big bucks? We don't know, but we got 750 pounds of corn, about 10 deer cameras, and uh, well, we're just gonna send it. We got the razor loaded up. We gotta go do some inventory. We gotta get some stands set up, put some corn out in some new spots and really dial down what deer are on the property for this deer season, because it's late August. Deer season, bow season, is right around the corner, so let's go. This is gonna be a banger! Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the deer club. We got the razor. Oh, sh don't hit me, troll. Oh, we got here hot. Oh my flying. god. <laughs> this is this is home for deer season right here. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Alrighty, ladies and. <laughs> don't do it. Don't get the shotgun. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here is my home away from home. This is the deer club. This is where we'll be staying at throughout most of the deer season hunting. We got the razor loaded up. We got 750 pounds worth of corn and a bunch of trail cameras. Now, I want to take this moment in time to thank our lovely sponsor, The Ridge. The Ridge, they make these dope wallets and these bad duffel bags, okay? Link's in the description. I actually need to get a couple more of these duffel bags. We're going to Dallas tomorrow, so one's not gonna cut it, so we gotta get a couple more. But today we're using it as a hunting bag. Nothing, dude. We'll be over there in a minute. Bye. So, Dad just called. He's actually plowing the fields today, and he needs these keys to get into the gate. We can't really get over there in the razor on the trails because a bunch of trees are down, so uh, we got some road riding to do, Bubba. faster than my truck yeah i can hear you coming from way back there <laughs> here are the keys tires ain't gonna last long like oh i know it <laughs> we can't all the trees are down this way we're gonna have to cut a path and that's gonna take too long do you hear him say it looks like a lot of people been in and out of here mm -hmm. trespassers bro trespassers are they back i don't know we'll yeah. find out here in a minute pavement princess oh my gosh it's a pavement princess so I know I said that we were going to the spot where we had handles at first, but uh, we're at the big stand. This, these fields gotta get plowed. We'll help dad out here for a little bit and then go uh, get everything set everywhere else. It's all grown up. We could just throw corn out and let the deer beat it down, but uh, I don't know. We'll get it figured out. I'll show y'all guys something real quick. I gotta talk to dad first. Somebody used my tr uh, turn plow boat trip pins or trips. So when you hit something, it trips them and breaks the bolt. So I had to put screwdrivers in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the clover field. It is grown up, it is nasty. Here in about an hour when dad gets done with it, this big grassy plain is gonna be freaking right. So stay tuned, we gotta come back and watch dad finish up this, but we gotta go grab some more corn and put out some more cameras if you guys remember the trail is freaking blocked this is like the main trail that really helps us so we kind of got to we got to go up this The 
windshield seal that came off. Ain't nothing a little super glue and duct tape can't fix. <laughs> oh, now I just gotta get the camera up. Watch on. This spot is done. This is actually an old cutover that I didn't hunt last year. Uh, it's kind of grown up in these small pine trees and the deer haven't started really using it again. There could be, the uh, handles came right through here when he got shot. So we got corn out, we got a camera out. See what, let's see what we get. 100 pound bags right there. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five bags. Plus camera. Z On to the next spot. <sighs> a lot of work today. <laughs> what? Then we have five bags. One, two, three, four, five. Five bags. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Did we lose a bag? How did a bag come out the back? You were jumping it pretty hard. <laughs> These things are 50 pounds each. 50 to 100 pounds. Those back two are 100 pounds. These are 50. We gotta go find it. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Oh, She's cooking now. Let's go uh, see if we can find this bag of corn. <laughs> there she is. We found you, corn. <laughs> oh, she's about to burst, bro. Oh, I'm thirsty. Yeah. I ain't Drink thirsty for no water, neither. Drinking that is like drinking warm soda, warm molasses. Ah! Once I get all this cleaned up, well, I put out 750 pounds of corn today. We filled the feeders halfway and threw out a couple bags by hand. So by the looks of it, we'll have to do this again next week and we'll get everything filled and then we can go two weeks without having to put out corn. So this spot we're at right now, this is where we had handles all of the start of last year's deer season, all the big bucks the last year's start of deer season. And the reason for that is we're on top of this hill, right? And in the summer months, this is where you get the best breeze. It's the coolest air. Air's just flowing in any, everywhere. There's a cutover over here. So if the wind's blowing this way, there's just, it's just a lot of airflow on top of this hill. And this is where all the big bucks seem to be at the beginning of the year in those hotter uh, months. So. I think this is the spot. Let's get out some corn. So you're probably asking yourself, Braden, why do you have two trail cameras on the same tree? Well, this is a leftover from last year and I don't know if it works. And being this is like our best spot as of right now, I am not taking the risk of not having pictures when we come check these cameras. It's crazy. There's, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of corn right here we're gonna have to clean You're up. You're so corny. <laughs> we might've like lost six bags on the first run, but we learned our lesson. We learned our lesson. We're cleaning up all the batteries. Make, and uh we're making sure we don't lose any bags out here now yeah we want to be extra careful guys save the environment a little hey the ridge save planet earth <laughs> thanks thanks ridge we're saving the earth all right we're coming down here to check up on dad uh <laughs> look at him going oh, just turning it over huh making a mess too much grass Well, uh, the field ain't looking too great. There's a lot of grass. Now he's turning all over. Hopefully it'll die. And uh, within a week or so, it'll all be gone. We just need some rain. We need we need a lot of hot weather, kill this grass. And we need some rain and uh, some seed in the ground. This place is gonna be killer. Dude, look. What are those herons, bro? What yeah. are they called? He can't fly. He can't fly, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're huge. Oh shit! A rat! Dude, I'm nervous, man. You got this. <laughs> Bro, what the f Bro? He ain't even, he's not okay, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, are you alright? Buddy. Hey. Man. Or female, don't assume it's gender. I wonder if his neck's broke. No, they're like that. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to see what's wrong with them, man. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with them, man. 
What's that in his mouth? Should we go get should we get some water in our bottle? I mean he was just in the creek. I mean it's not like he should need water. I wonder I mean look at him, dude. He's there's ants getting on him. Get him on the pavement. Come on, buddy. Okay. Okay, man. You're good. <laughs> What is going? Just let him. Just... I'm not gonna. Dude, right. I want to take him over to the pond. That creek is drying up, and there ain't no fish in there or nothing to eat. I feel like we need to take him to the pond. But I feel like he might would die before we got there. Mm -hmm. 911, what's your emergency? Yes. Uh... <laughs> oh man, dude, I feel bad for him. All right, I'm gonna go put him back down. He got a snake. He's had a, he has a snake in his throat. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he just coughed that up, dude. He coughed up a you just held that with that copper head in his mouth. <laughs> what oh, the oh, man. dude? He's trying to get the snake out of his throat. Bro, look this at him dragging the snake! Look at it, bro! Dude, that is crazy, man. Okay, I went down there because I was curious to see what was wrong with them, and I think we just figured it out, okay? Enjoy your meal, buddy. Nice knowing you. <laughs> that damn crane, dude. We never know what we're gonna get ourselves into when we come down to the deer club. That's what I love about it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna give a quick little tour to Miller of the clubhouse because, uh, well, he hasn't seen it yet, so I gotta show him where we're gonna be staying throughout deer season. So this is the front porch. We got a toilet on the front porch for whenever you need to take a big old deuce. Um, walk inside here like this right here, lights are out. Here is a room that needs to be cleaned up for sure. Miller, this is our room, okay? The humble abode. We got the kitchen. We got a brand new kitchen table in here for all our dining needs. We got the wall of fame, all the deer pictures, and the nice ass living room. Guest bedroom, two beds, more deer heads. And here's the best part. It's got actual plumbing. Look at that, that's a real toilet. That's a real nasty shower, but it's a shower, so. Yeah, 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 Miller, you ready to stay here, man? We'll get the AC kicking. Everything ready, let's lock it down, turn off all the lights. So that is the five star Braden Price Deer Camp, okay? Uh, I'm actually really excited because next week, we're flying to Dallas tomorrow and then when we get back, we gotta come and check all these cameras, see what deer are out here. Because, let me just tell you, we're gonna have a good year this year and I'm so excited to see what we're after. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. I know everybody's been asking for hunting content. Hunting isn't really here yet. We're getting ready, we're getting prepared. I thought I'd just share it. It's gonna be fun once we start checking the cameras. We just had to do the, the boring work today. Next Saturday is opening day of dove season. Big dove hunting video coming up and checking all these cameras. We gotta see what kind of bucks we got out here. Hope everybody enjoyed it and I'll catch y'all on the next one.